welcome back to my channel. Do you remember this room? Yeah, it's still empty. <laughs> my goal was to actually fill it up with thrifted furniture, but I haven't been successful so far. Uh, but I did find a couple items um, at the Goodwill a few weeks ago. So we're going to be giving it a little makeover and see what we can come up with. So this chair here is a gorgeous pink. I really like the material. It's very girly. It's in great condition. And guys, I only got it for $7.99. So I will be cleaning the fabric, but I wanted to paint the wood um, as well. So I'm going to go and start on this one first. And um, first up is to always clean the furniture. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of alcohol and water. So I'm going to be using this on a damp cloth and just wiping it down. There's some pieces of garbage on the top I didn't notice. So I'm just basically cleaning it enough to where when I paint it, it will actually stay put. Alrighty, everything is nice and clean. I removed the drawer already and also the doorknobs um, and made sure I cleaned everything inside as well. And uh, when I look down there, I do notice there are some cracks. So this is the inside and I see some of the paint chipping and also um, there are some cracks here. So what I'm going to do is seal it with um, wood glue. Alrighty, so this is what I picked up is Carpenter's Wood Glue by Elmer's. Um, I've never used this before, but I trust this brand. So what I'm going to do is use a paintbrush and then just go ahead and uh, paint in the glue and try to seal it as best as I can. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight and see how it turns out. I forgot to mention that I also picked this up at Value Village um, a few weeks ago and it was only $2.99. So I am planning to put it in that spare room. Uh, so I am going to paint it. So right now um, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and give it a coat of paint. I'm not sure. I might just do all white um, but I'm not sure yet. So I might just uh, spray the top part and see how it turns out. Alrighty guys, so this is the current update on my project. Um, I did use up all two bottles of paint and it covered up everything really well, um, including this uh, wall shelf here. Alrighty, so what I'm going to be using is this Martha Stewart Craft Metallic Paint. Um, I'm going to be mixing them up. Um, what I might be doing is uh, just sponging in the color within the drawer and also inside of the shelving unit. And also painting um, the side of the shelf here. And I know this paint isn't meant for uh, furniture, but... Um, I'm not going to be actually using this drawer here uh, for functional reasons. It's just going to be for decorative purposes. So um, using this paint will be fine. And yeah, I'm just going to play around with it and see how it turns out. So I'm going to start on the wall shelf and I'm going to be painting the edges with this metallic paint. Um, this particular color is called Pure Platinum. And uh, this was a couple dollars at... Uh, Michael's but I did of course get a discount and I want to show you um, the color so just to give you a better idea and then um, what I'm doing is just uh, lightly painting the edges um, right alongside here just to give it some um, pop of color
quick update this is what it is looking like so far just with one coat um i'm thinking of painting the inside too as you see those um crevices on the side of the shelf so uh, it may be a little bit difficult to paint so i'm gonna have to figure out what brushes i'll be using but I'm just going to take a break from this really quickly because it's taking a really long time. Um, so I'm just going to let it dry, see how it turns out. And then uh, what I'm going to do is start working on the inside of the drawer. So I'm going to layer um, the solver first I'm using this small sponge that I cut out. And uh, I'm just going to put it in here and then kind of just see how it comes out just on the paper plate first and anytime you're painting um, you just always want to test it out on something first before you put it on whatever project you're working on so um, I'm just going to sponge it and see how it comes out so I'm just going to be dabbing it um, all over again there's not no rhyme or reason just um, where I feel like I want the color to be Alrighty, so this is what my madness looks like so far. <laughs> Jacob's laughing at my art. Alrighty, everything is looking great so far. Um, there are some corners that I wasn't able to sponge completely, so I'm just going to take some paint and just um, brush it along there just to cover it a little bit. Any um, areas that I think should be filled in. Um, again, I'm not trying to be perfect. I do want it to look a little messy. Um, it's intentional so uh, yeah that's all I'm doing and it looks like it's all done now so I am planning to replace the knobs on the dresser and I picked up four of these these are glass pull drawers um, they're handmade in India super pretty I picked this up at home goods and um, it was seven dollars and 99 cents for four uh, so I'm really happy with this and I'm glad I found it all right super quick and easy and I feel like just the details um, on the furniture makes it look so much different quick update I just sold the pink chair for $35 so uh, long story short I just decided against the pink uh, since it didn't really match with um, the colors within my home so it was really sad but I just thought maybe I'll just put it on Facebook and see if anyone puts an offer on it and, and you know there was an offer right away so $35 and I only paid $7.99 for it so a uh, small profit and that means more money to go thrifting alrighty guys so this is my wall shelf already hung up I just placed a couple books up there and put my little bear and down here is the side table I'm so happy on how it turned out so as you saw earlier I did paint inside and I love the colors and I tried to make it look kind of like marble but yeah it didn't really come out marble but <laughs> um, I tried and on top I just have a couple of my books here and um, a teapot that I had in storage. I bought some faux flowers at Joanne Fabrics for a couple books and down here is a thrifted candle holder that used to be red. Uh, I thrifted that for 76 cents. Alrighty guys, so this concludes my thrifty makeover. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I am still on a hunt for things to add to the space here. As you can see, the rest of the room is still empty. I just have one of my lights here and some wires just sticking out. But yeah, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.